What's going on guys, it's Cindy Gaming here, and today we just have my class setups that I use for when I play competitive Call of Duty, you know, game battles, tournaments, you know, scrims and all that, that such. So let's go ahead and get my critic class. So, first off, I got the ASM-1. I'm a uh, battle user, I like my uh, assault rifles, but for when I do run SMGs on certain maps here, it's what I like to run, so I have foregrip, quick draw, and advanced rifling. Now this is the exact same setup I use on my ASM-1 every single time, no matter what. So that's really the class setup, uh, the attachments at least. So perks, I like lightweight, fast hands to get my nades out a little bit faster. Toughness and blast suppressor, which are pretty much mandatory for the most part. Exo ability, overclock. Uh, there's, I mean, the ones that are banned are ping, stim, and cloak. So you don't have a ton of, you have like one, two, three, four, five. You have five to choose from. So uh, now for this class, I'll run two Simtexes. This is my default respawn, so hard point. I'll use this on our CTF a lot of the time, just depends. Next up, we have the exact same uh, setup for the perks and exo abilities and launchers, but we have the bow, which is the. I use this exact same attachments now also for the bow every single time. So I'll run stock to move faster while aiming down sights, foregrip for uh, vertical uh, foregrip, uh, if the vertical for, uh, for reduced recoil, and quick drop so I can aim down sights a little bit faster. Next up, we got the ASM1, same attachments there, here though, but. We got lightweight, fast hands, you know, same perks and all that, overclock, but we have stuns this time for, this is another one of those I usually will use for hardpoint or uplink, trying to stun them, trying to, you know, get them disoriented or whatever. Um, same thing, bow, same attachments, uh, also with just stuns, so everything else is the same. Now, this is my search and destroy class, actually, here. I'll run an ASM on if everything's the same, same perks, but I'll run exo mute and two for X. That way, for example, you know, let's say, like, that right there is kind of, like, a far away spot, I can launch nades up high and get them. And I'll try to pick them off right off their spawn. So I'll run two nades for that for search and destroy. And then, uh, for it's my search and destroy for my battle, same thing. Exo mutant nades. Now, this is my hard point class. I'll use it if they're using a lot of grenades. As you can see, because trophy system, you know, deflect two incoming enemy projectiles. So it stuns and grenades. And I can get rid of two of them. So that's nice. I'll run Simtexes because this is still mostly for hard point. So. Throw on trophy, and I'm good when I sit in the hill because I am primarily an OBJ player. Next, ASM1, everything is the exact same just as that one, just switch guns. Here, now this is my, they're using so many grenades, I cannot control what I'm using, what, uh, what's going on here. So I put on lightweight and flak jacket. Uh, fast hands, toughness and blast suppressor, blast suppressor, I don't have any grenades on. And I have exo trophy to help out with that a little bit. And last but not least... This class actually changes up. This was we were playing uh, threes. Uh, we were playing triples, and so we're like weren't playing extreme like competitively. So this is what I use if I'm in a melee class. I use thermal foregrip and quick draw ASM one with quick draw, and that's what I run pretty much. I have perk one lightweight, fast hand, toughness, blast suppressor, no exo abilities or launchers. But when I don't want that, I'm gonna actually get rid of the ASM one and overkill. And this is what I also run here a lot of the time. So I'll throw on a bell, just throw my E, which is actually allowed and competitive because there's no stat change, changes, as you, guys, as you guys can see here. And I will run the default for grip and quick draw. And what, now what I'll do is I'll get rid of Blast Suppressor and put it on Hardwired. Then I'll put it on Trophy and two stuns. And that is my, alright, they're using lots of stun grenades. So I'll put on Trophy, stuns, and try to counter them, use the stuns, throw stuns out at them. And yeah. So this is my actual competitive Call of Duty class setup. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. I know it was a little bit short, but I figured you guys would be interested in possibly seeing these. You know, maybe create your own classes based off of these. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace out, guys. Have a great day.